In step 32 of this Institute of Practical Learning course on self-awareness, we talk about the parts of your mind that are there waiting for you to develop and how your inner, what we call four eyes department, is there to work with your conscious and subconscious minds and all the databases of information that you have so that you can develop new behaviours far more appropriate to the adult world and the challenges you face. So now you're in and you've passed the test. If you want us to get the body to take action and maybe look at new stuff, or behave in new ways, or dress differently, or control the, the way you look and appear to others, whether you smile and nod and generally kind of things you say, like in conversation, for example, or asking questions, et cetera, et cetera. Now, we really would like to put into our AFI area new functional skills that will enable you as a whole person to do better, be better at conversation, better at asking questions, a better at doing presentations, better at running meetings, being a better manager, all sorts of stuff. So this is the place where we're going to do it. We're going to need to improve things in some of these areas if we're going to do it successfully. Here's the challenge that we face. Your emotions and your feelings within that department they can already identify feelings, so they can identify, but they're not very good at managing. So I would say if we were scoring our AI department on a graph somewhere like this, and where are they in terms of their ability? So this is getting good up here. In terms of their ability to manage feelings, they're kind of down here in this space. So if through the learning that you can bring into us, through the information that you can bring into us, you can help us add stuff here, new stuff. Maybe even going right up. Let's, let's be brave because as a person, you have just a heck of a lot of potential, which is underutilized, to be honest. So let's do it. Let's, let's learn the skills to go right up here, and maybe even right up to that. Who knows? So we're ready and willing to work with you with this new input to increase our emotional intelligence. Our emotional, it's not fixed. We've got a certain amount of emotional intelligence that we, uh, we've learned in our childhood and stuff like that, but there's plenty of scope to be better at that. And likewise, with social intelligence, yeah, we've learned a certain amount of, about social intelligence. We're there, maybe, but we have the potential to go to there. So let's say we're here now with social intelligence. But again, with the right kind of input, and when you guys came in, you uh, already had an approval tag from the subconscious that said you were potentially going to be of value to our department and, and us as a whole person. So we're, we're optimistic that you've got this stuff. And you're going to tell us new soft skills to improve our emotional, our emotional management and our social interaction. This is your social intelligence, and you use your intelligence to interact. So that's what we're looking for. Now, at the same time, you may be able to tell us new information that you think we should get. So if you can tell us what new, what new info should we get? Now, if you tell us what the new information is, we have enough authority that we can go through here and we can come up to here and we'll take the action. We'll get your body, your person to go out there and buy the book or 
watch a video or meet the person, whatever it is, take a, take a course like this course that originally triggered off this input. So by using our skills, our knowledge, our tools, our methods, we will work with you to build your soft skills. We will also update your behavior controls and we'll up update them here. Now, the good thing is where we do our updates isn't like the normal place. We, we've got a bit of science uh, stuff going on in our department. We know about places in the memory that are below your cerebral cortex and stuff like that. But we don't talk, they're called ganglias and stuff. So we can update your behavior controls at a deep, at a deep level, the same level. If you learn to swim, you're not going to forget how to swim. If you learn to ride a bike, you're not going to forget how to ride a bike because that knowledge is placed in a certain area. We know, we in AFI, we know what that area is and we can update it. And then you'll be able to use those soft skills and you'll do it automatically. And the specific soft skills and how to use them, we'll put that in here. Hopefully you've got a lot of them because the more you've got, the more it'll improve your functionality and you will make your functional intelligence that much smarter. Okay, so as we understand it, you've been working on this stuff for a long time now. You've been thinking about it. We got a little report on the quality of your input. We, we looked at the tags on it. It apparently has passed the tests, but it's purposeful, which is great. Do you want us to change behavior? We get that. It's relevant to the situation. You pass the test there. It's relevant to now. It's not like something that you're going to store away for five years, 10 years, maybe never use. It's relevant to your needs now. That's good. We like to work on that stuff because we're all about doing things. We're about action and we're about learning now. Okay. Is it credible? Well, from what we've seen of it so far, it looks really, really good. Are there quick wins? We've been told that that's been promised, let's hope. And um, is it easy steps? Well, hopefully this data is going to be easy steps. We'll find out quickly when the AFI department starts telling you, your person to take actions. If there isn't a quick win, it's all going to stop. And, uh, you know, that's been nice, nice to know you by that. On the other hand, if it comes in and it uh, fulfills all of this, then we can work together with you to update your behavior controls with the kind of stuff you need and update your soft skills. So uh, as a department, um, you can think of us as Big Al. You can think of us as four eyes. We don't really care how you think us. Think of, think of our department as your friend. You're, you have four intelligences available to you. We'll help you get cleverer with your emotions, your social integration, your social skills. We'll help you perform the functions quickly and easily and automatically. And we'll help you go and get the new information that you need in order to get better and better and better. So this is a journey. It's been a long journey for you. We're so pleased you're here now. We think we can work with you. And so, um, as we always say here, and uh, the guy who got us started on all this, a guy called Graham Lamb, he says peace and love, and we say peace and love. So welcome, really pleased you've been here. Let's get going and let's start on actions and learning. Okay, peace and love. Here's a short clip from what we call the Corbin Dialogues, as we were coaching Corbin to develop the necessary soft skills for the challenges he was facing in the fairly short term. Okay. You wanted, it started off with you saying you wanted public speaking skills and then we drilled down and we found actually a little more about confidence generally mm -hmm. of one to one, one to in a small group and then a large group and that's fine. But the word confidence came out quite strongly. You want to learn a, a skill set um, you mentioned presentations, but you also mentioned interviews. So, and you've got an interview in now probably three weeks or thereabouts. Yeah. So, uh, I feel we need to get into the whole interview thing mm -hmm. because I want these sessions to be practical rather than just abstract. 
Okay. Yeah. Uh, uh, this is not Applied abstract learning for the sake yeah. of it. It's it's learning for a purpose. Because out there with Google and Wikipedia and everything, there's a massive amount of data, and you might call it information. But I just I differentiate. I say information is data with a purpose, or it's or relevant data. relevant yeah. information. Okay. So there's that. Try writing down now three reasons for watching these dialogues. Oh, I mentioned things for you to have a look at. Uh, maybe on, look on YouTube or something to do mm -hmm. with power, personal power, not just power generally. That that would bring up millions of you know hits. Yeah, personal power um, and status. So. That's to kind of just summarise where I thought we were. Mm -hmm. But I did invite you to go away. This is another clip from almost a year later. And you can see how Corbyn has come on and is applying the uh, self-awareness and soft skills to help him steer a path through life that he's choosing for himself. Your, your limited time that you have, because you've got stuff to get ready for university or something, haven't you? I've got stuff to get ready for university and the gigs in London that I was talking about a moment ago. Oh, you've um, talked to them. I don't know about that yet, but I'll know about it soon. Well, I, should, I didn't go into much detail about it. OK. Well, I did a little bit. You will see. OK. But, um, yes, yeah, so I've got to go and get ready for those gigs. And I'm going back to uni in just a couple, not a couple of days, that's not true. I go back on the 12th. But as far as our program, mm -hmm. do, do you feel you've communicated the, the key points of what you want to communicate yes. to people? Yes, I did. I didn't tell any anecdotes, really. I hope I didn't go over myself too many times. You will see. I, yeah, I, if you did, you did. We can edit There it. were lots of things that I was talking about that I think I do a lot now, and like just kind of without thinking about it, and okay. I've taken them to be kind of just a part of my personality, but then unconscious competence i suppose but then upon revisiting i was like hey those are all things that we looked at and okay. i supposed i didn't know about those things before we looked at them and i had a bit of a realization then of like hey that was really something that came about and do you this. feel that that capability can be communicated using the kind of video process that I'm using rather than the, we've had the privilege of one-on-one -on -one and sitting together and mentoring, coaching and so on. Do you, yeah, I do hope you feel... so. It's been, it's been, I mean, for me, I've been able to tailor what we're talking about to really suit my needs. Yeah. yeah. I don't, I would just say the really, the big one thing, if I could take one thing away from all of this, it would just be that you have way more power as an individual over pretty much every aspect of what goes on in your life than you think you do. Okay. I don't know. I felt like before I was kind of just floating down the river that is life, just going wherever the current right. takes you. We, right. we use that leaf, leaf in the stream. Yeah, yeah there you go. Analogy, yeah. But in reality, you can kind of row as much as you want to row. Okay, to go and steer. And, yeah, exactly. To go in any direction that you want to go in. And it's... It's just funny that, I don't know, in a way, this sounds super cheesy and corny, but you do kind of make your own rules a bit, don't you, as to what, where you want to go and what you want to do and how you're going to do it. I think the difference between being a child, where you uh, maybe kind of yeah, maybe have to go along with the flow and you have to tell you and mm. what, you know, parents tell you if you're lucky enough to have parents, but authority figures. And then as you become a young person, it's not only possible for you to steer your own course, it's necessary yeah. for you to steer your own course if is... you don't want to get side on. Becoming aware of something, like self-awareness, is the first step. Understanding it through analytical thinking is the second step. Now the third steps are what the rest of the IPL.org content is all about, which is how to develop the capabilities that are going to help you in your life. And then finally, the practice that you're going to use to become expert throughout your life. So good luck with all of it.